Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org, and this is the new Astel and Kern AK240. If you've been around HeadFi.org for the last month, you've probably seen it. So we're not, in this episode, going to do a real deep dive into the AK240. For this episode, I just wanted to take a quick look at the user interface because it's such an improvement over the user interface on any other high-res digital audio player I've used so far that I think it really deserves a look. So let's get right into it. Let's take a look at the user interface of the Astel and Kern AK240. So this is the Astel and Kern AK240, and I placed it in the AK240 docking station just to keep it still for the purpose of the video. That is a cool docking station, though. So again, we're going to do a quick look at the user interface, and what you're looking at right now is the AK240 playing a track. It's playing this track by Vampire Weekend, and this is the song view. So we're in the track right now. You can see the time scrubber moving to the right as it plays the track. You click on the album cover, and it says lyrics uh, empty. I don't have any lyrics loaded for this song, and I haven't seen this screen populated yet, but apparently it will show lyrics if you have that data uh, for the track available. Um, if you click the plus sign from here, it'll take you to playlists, which we're going to get to in a minute. And then if you click here, there's track information. And then that symbol at the top right, if you are an AK100 or AK120 user, that probably looks familiar to you. If you press it, it'll show all the tracks. Um, on the album. I think if you enter from playlist view, it'll show you all the tracks in the playlist that you entered from. So that's the track view. At the bottom center of the AK240 screen is a virtual button that takes you to the AK240's home screen. Now before we go to the home screen, I wanted to comment very quickly about the display on the AK240 because it's beautiful. It's an AMOLED or an AMO LED screen. It's very bright and crisp as you can probably see in the video and I, I just had to mention it because it's a beautiful screen. So now let's take a look at the home screen. So on the home screen here, you can access all of the music on the AK240 and on its memory card, organized by songs, albums, artists, genres, playlist, and folder. And I'm not going to go into all those because I know you know what those views are going to look like. Um, you can also access the device's main settings and streaming, and we're going to get to streaming shortly. Okay, let's look at the main setting screen for the AK240. And this is just all of the device settings for the AK240, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, you can see here that balanced out is on. That's because I was listening to the Audizy LCD-X out of the balanced out of the AK240. It sounded beautiful, by the way, and so that's on. Um, this is left and right channel balance. I'm only going into this to show you how responsive the UI is. That's to the right all the way, and that's to the left, and then recentered and you can see how responsive that is. So now let's uh, go to the equalizer because I think that's another cool thing to look at. Um, if you're familiar with the AK100 and the AK120, they have a graphic equalizer where you can draw the curve you want and then the equalizer adjusts to match the curve. But with the AK240, you have more bands to play with so the curves are a little bit finer or uh, the adjustments are finer. So check it out, let me just show you what I mean. Let's draw a really severe curve and you can see that it tries to match the curve. How cool is that? Now the adjustment range at any given frequency is minus 5 to plus 5 dB from flat and uh, again more bands than we had to play with before. Very nice. So one more thing I wanted to mention on the main setting screen is this thing here. It says update. Uh, so far in the short time I've had the Astel and Kern AK240, the firmware on it's been updated um, geez, two or three times. So I'm really excited to see that Astel and Kern is very proactive about updating the firmware over the air on the AK240. That's been very cool. So that was the main settings screen uh, that I showed you. It had all the device settings, but this is something very cool right here. If you pull down from the top, you have a quick screen on which you can adjust some of your most commonly adjusted settings. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, screen lock, um, that MTP you see is just saying that it's in media mode right now. If you plug it in via USB, um, it's in media mode. That means you can move files to and from the AK240 from your computer. If you click it into DAC mode, when you plug it into USB, it's a USB DAC. So that's very cool. And these settings are just very easy to adjust, very quick, very nice. There's screen brightness. Um, shuffle, uh, repeat, gapless the EQ that I already showed you. And then this is the notification screen. I think I mentioned it just a second ago. And this is where you'll see notifications for things like updates. It's also where you can safely eject the SD card. Now, my favorite thing about this screen is this at the very top here, and that's search. Because you can search for tracks, for albums, and it's very fast. So let's search for Damien Rice. 
I feel like hearing Damien Rice. And you can see I just typed in D-A-M, and it pulls up Damien Rice, um, songs by him, and then, uh, well, an album, and then songs by Damien Rice. This is a very cool thing to have search. I know it sounds basic, you know, things like the iPhone and the iPod have search, but really a lot of the high-res media players or any of the ones that I've used so far have not had search. So I love the fact that it has, this has search on the AK240 and that it works so well. So that's a very cool little screen. Once again, check it out. So you can see with the AK240 something that I'm doing that's easy to take for granted. And that's the fact that I'm just navigating around it really easily and very quickly. And that everything on it, on the screen, responds very quickly and responsively to touch. And it's just something that's easy, again, to take for granted. But no other high-res media player that I've used so far, uh, portable ones, have that. They don't have that responsiveness. And so, to me, that's a very, very key part of the experience of using the AK240. Um, so, just to give you other examples, here's the volume knob on it. And you can adjust it in finer adjustments with the physical volume knob. Or you can do a quick adjustment by just dragging it up and down. Once you've, once you've started the volume control, you can, again, use the volume knob or just quickly drag it up and down. Again, look how responsive that is. It's fantastic. And then you can just click away from it. So I love the responsiveness. I'm going to show you one more screen, and we're going to look at the songs view, and that's all the songs on the device. There's a couple things about the screen I want to show you first. So we're looking at all the songs on the device. Um, that's including the card, the SD card. So right now I have a 64 gig SD card in here, a micro SD card, and then there's 256 gigs internally. So what, that's 320 gigs that I can carry around with me. It's fantastic that I can do that. Um, and then when the 128 gig micro SD cards start coming out, I'm going to definitely buy one of those because then we're talking 384 gigs on the go. That would be just awesome. But anyways, we're on the songs view. I'm going to click on this thing up here. It says all. That means that I'm looking at all the tracks on it, regardless of format, regardless of bit depth and sample rate. You're going to look at all the tracks on the AK240. So let's click on MQS. I believe that stands for Mastering or Master Quality Sound. It's just a trade name um, that uh, Astell and Kern uses for high-res PCM files. And that's what we're looking at now is high-res PCM files. Let's click on that again. And then you have DSD. You can organize by um, all DSD files here. So that's very cool. Let's go back to all because I want to show you how responsive, again, this screen is. So now we're looking at all the files on here. And there's quite a few songs on here. Now I want to show you, again, how responsive this is. I mean, again, it's so easy to take this for granted, but there's no other high-res player that I've seen that has that kind of responsiveness. This is fantastic. And then you have this scroll bar. Let me get out of your way here. On the right, the alphabetical scroll bar that allows you to very quickly navigate that entire screen. I mean, that is just so cool. So again, look how just responsive that is. It's easy to take that for granted. Now that we're back at the home screen, I wanted to show you the playlist functionality. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there's no way to sync my iTunes playlists to the AK240, but fortunately, Astell and Kern made managing the playlists and creating them um, very, very easy on the AK240. So let's go back to a song. So we're now, um, uh, let's play Hannah Hunt uh, by Vampire Weekend. I want to add that to a new playlist. So I click on this graphic, I hit plus, and we're going to create a new playlist called Now. So we create it. And so created a new playlist called Now. And I'm going to click on that. And it added Hannah Hunt to my playlist, which I think is very cool. And it makes it very easy to manage those playlists. So from here, let's go back to my playlist called Now. And if I want to remove or move the track, let's, let's, let's move or copy it, I mean, to another playlist. Watch this. So I take Hannah Hunt. I can either delete it here from the playlist, or I can add it to another playlist. I want to add it to current favorites. One items are added. So how cool is that? And uh, if I want to delete it, by the way, I can similarly take it out and delete it. So I just hit delete. It is now out of the playlist. So you can see how easy it is to move stuff around the playlist, how to create a playlist. Um, very, very easy. I love this thing. So the playlist functionality is very cool. And I'm glad that they made it so easy to manage the music on it because the playlist functionality being able to hold so much music on it and being able to stream music to it, which we're going to get to now, um, it just makes it feel like more of a portable music server uh, amp DAC combo than it is just a simple player. So I, I really like the fact that it just feels very complete. 
So I just mentioned streaming and I wanted to get into that. Again, we're not going to do a deep dive into streaming, but I want to show you quickly how it works. What the AK240 allows you to do, and this is a very important feature for me, is it allows you to stream music to the AK240 from a computer on your network. And I've got terabytes of music that I could stream to it, um, and I love the fact that I can do that. So with the AK240, I've right now got an iMac on the same network. It's using software that you have to install on your computer by Astel and Kern. Right now it's in pre-release versions, um, but they're working on getting it uh, finished for a release version. Um, I don't think it's out in release version yet. So, but it works really well even in pre-release version, which I'm going to show you right now. So let's click on streaming. And so I have, you see Jude's iMac up there. It's connected, again, to the AK240 via the network, and now I can access the music on that, uh, on that computer. Right now, I only have three folders on there, but imagine you can essentially connect it to terabytes of music, um, which I have. I mean, I have over a terabyte of DSD alone, um, so being able to access that from the AK240 is really cool via streaming. But for the sake of this demo, I've only indexed a few folders of music, and uh, here are the folders. We're in folder view now. We're looking at the max uh, music that I indexed for this demo, and there are three folders. Let's go to stream test. That's mostly Redbook CD quality stuff. And we're going to click on Fiona Apple. And we're going to go to Extraordinary Machine. And we're going to play Extraordinary Machine. I have apparently two versions of it on there. And it's going to play the track. And you'll see this graph slide to the right. The track is now fully loaded. And it will play the screen. And you can see it's 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. And it's playing the track. So now let's go back because we're going to play DSD now. Oh, let's go back to those folders. Sorry. I overshot it. So let's go to DSD, and on here I have a bunch of DSD albums, but actually, you know, let's go to this one, Acoustic Sounds. I just downloaded the new uh, Kevin Gray remaster of the Nora Jones album, um, Come Away With Me, and I love this album, even though I've heard it three billion times, it, it, I've just never gotten tired of it, so let's play that. Not that you can hear it, but this is an awesome remaster, by the way. If you don't have it, you should get it. I don't know Kevin Gray, but Kevin, kudos to you for, for the for the awesome remaster of this album. I believe it's an analog to DSD remaster. So here we are in that new remaster, and we're going to stream DSD. These files are a lot bigger than Redbook, so let's click on it. So let's see how long it takes to load. And there it is. It's loading now. Again, the graph is sliding. You notice it's not sliding quite as fast as it was with the Redbook, but it's still loading the track, and it's playing the track. So we're streaming DSD to the Astel and Kern. Once again, I've got over a terabyte of DSD files to play, and now I don't have to load them all onto the Astel and Kern AK240. If I'm at the office or at home, I can access the, these tracks, terabytes of music, through streaming. So very, very cool. It really just almost does away with storage limitations when you're in the same network as these computers. It does away with storage limitations on the device itself. Um, of course, when you're on the go, then you're limited to whatever storage you have, which is still a substantial 320 gigs right now, and hopefully 384 when I can get 128 gig micro SD cards. But how cool is that when you're on your network, you can stream DSD to it, terabytes of music you can stream to it. It's fantastic. So that is a very cool feature. So that was our quick look at the Astel and Kern AK240 user interface. I hope after going over it with me, you can understand why I'm so impressed by it with its responsiveness and speed and its ease of use. It's just fantastic to use. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you soon, and I'm sure you can read more about the Astel and Kern AK240 on headfi.org.